dynamicartstore.com to get the cars. Right. Icons, legends aiming at the stars. Personally, at checkout to save your points. And now your bank account won't be staying empty. empty. Dynamicartstore.com. Right. Use code Hursty. Go on. Hey there guys, welcome back to Hursty Games and welcome to another Which Is Better video. Today we are looking at the new Curtis Jones that has come out. You've got the options, as you can see on screen, as a left mid version or a centre mid version of this card. This video is going to be all about my opinions on A, the cards themselves, B, the SBC and whether I think the price is worth it. C, we'll compare them in game and give you my thoughts obviously as to which is better, but also show you some comparisons to other players on the market of uh, you know whatever price range, but show you cards that are similar and maybe that I think that they will perform form similarly too. Now the first thing I want to do is say I will be completing this SPC. Firstly, I think this is a really cool concept. Gutted he wasn't actually in packs because obviously he is a base bronze card. So it would have been pretty cool to see if anyone had got him from bronze packs and stuff. Obviously, we do a lot of BPM. I've packed regular Curtis Jones about five or six times this year. So it would have been interesting to see. But uh, yeah, this card I think is really cool. I think both versions, both variants of the cards have their benefits, have their perks. We'll get more into that afterwards. Uh, it is a 400k roughly SPC as things sit on the PlayStation at least. I'll double check the Xbox for you now. So yeah, looking on both PlayStation and Xbox, you're looking at between 400 and 420k uh, to complete. And on PC, it's about 470k. But PC market, I know it's a bit uh, like sporadic, goes up and down quite a lot. The most expensive part being an 86 rated squad, which is about 200k. So that's about half the SBC itself. Uh, but realistically, I think this card looks really good. I know a lot of Liverpool fans, I'm sure, will do it anyway. But I think this is a very, very good looking card. Gives me similar kind of vibes to the uh, the Trent we got last year, the Shapeshifter Trent. But I think this will be a better version that centre mid and the left mid again I just think it looks like a very very good very usable and very fun card now uh, comparing them both obviously the left mid version has more pace has more shooting has more dribbling and then the centre mid version has more passing more defence and more physicality so three stats higher on each of the cards uh, but both obviously quite well rounded for the cards they've got let's have a little in-game comparison and see what they look like Okay, so both cards have got four star, four star. The high, high work rate on the centre mid and high medium work rate on the left mid. Six foot one tall as well. So he's going to do well on both, realistically. Six foot one's a little bit tall for wingers, but I don't think there are many uh, wingers that are massively impacted by their pace, uh, by their height. Sorry, the pace is obviously the main thing that you're looking at for the wingers. But let's have a look at the in games. Obviously, as we said, the pace is quite noticeably different on the uh, left winger or the left mid card. He's going to have a lot more. The shooting really isn't that much different. I have to say the main difference is honestly a long shots and finishing where the left mid has plus three on both of those but otherwise I have to say the stats are relatively similar I don't think they look that different uh, it's only a plus one anyway passing again I think there are a few differences here crossing uh, is quite a bit higher on the left mid but the short passing uh, and the curve are quite a bit higher on the centre mid so you're looking at a plus seven on short passing and a plus four on the curve for the centre mid card the dribbling Again, the agility and balance here, uh, especially the agility, are quite a bit different there. Honestly, the rest of them, fairly similar. The dribbling's a little bit different, actually. Well, I think it's a plus seven for the left mid. Uh, but the agility and balance are quite a bit higher on the left mid, which, again, you would expect. And then defensive, I mean, we know the sentiment's going to have way more. They're a massive boost, which is why the in-games on the sentiment are quite as boosted as they are, because the defensive stat, you're looking like a plus 15. So it's a real big difference, and obviously, it's going to be very noticeable. And honestly, in, in the physicality, I think they're fairly similar. The main difference, really, so uh, you're looking at a plus three for the stamina. So honestly, I think these cards, if you're to compare them both, I think both look very viable. Obviously, they're both boosted in the attributes they need to be. The main difference is for each, honestly, is pace, obviously, for the left mid. And then the defensive stuff for the uh, center mid. But both cards are pretty good. And I think, honestly, both are very, very viable cards for their retrospective positions. Now, time to compare them to some in-game cards. Now, the card I'm going to compare... This Curtis Jones 2, the Centimid version 2, which again is about 400k SBC, is a card that's worth over a million coins. And that is Baby Hullet. Because if you look at this, Baby Hullet has got worse stats on everything apart from defence. And it's only a plus 2 in the defence and they don't look that different to the, to the Jones card. This card is better than Baby Hullet, in my opinion. I think this card is considerably better than that Baby Hullet. And honestly, I compared it to the 90 as well, the Middle Hullet. And uh, it's not too different. And that middle hullet is extortionately priced. He is a fair few million coins. So obviously that I think the 90 hullet is going to be better than Jones. But I think this 88 Jones card is going to be better than hullet. Now I know some people say that this 86 hullet isn't all that this year. 
it's still Hullet. It's still a good card. I've used this card, and he is a good little card. It was a very good draft, and I thoroughly enjoyed using him. But I think this Jones card looks better than him. Face value, he looks incredible. He's got more in-game stats than him, and he just looks like he's absolutely going to do the business. I, I think this Jones is a perfect box-to-box. -box. You can put a Hunter on him if you want him to be attacking. You can put a Shadow on him if you want to be more defensive. Or you can put whatever you want on him if you're willing to go for that box-to-box -box card. I seriously think this card is so, so good. If you are able to compare a card to Baby Hullet and say he's about a third to a quarter of the price, you're absolutely laughing. And I think this Curtis Jones card, A, fits into that criteria, but B, looks very good for it. Okay, now time to compare the left mid card. Now, there are two cards that I'd compare them to. One is a card that is cheaper. Uh, he's about 150k-ish, I think, on average, and that is Sadio Mane, and he's considerably better than Mane card, in my opinion. Uh, I just think his card looks better, all in all. The other card I'm going to compare him to is Double the Price. It's a card that's about 800k right now on the market, and that is Neymar. Now, the main difference is Neymar, obviously, is 5-star-5, five five, so that's one thing to take into account. This is just the in-game comparison here, because the 5-star-5-star, five five star obviously, is better than a 4-star-4-star four four on Jones. But he's got about 50 in-game stats more than Neymar. He's got one less pace, okay? One less pace. He's got one more shooting, the same passing. He's got a little bit less dribbling. He has got four less dribbling. But again, if you look at those in-games, realistically, it's composure, a little bit of reactions. Jones has got better balance. It's very similar. I don't think they're that different, if you're my honest opinion. I really do think the dribbling stats are so close that it doesn't make that much of a difference. And the 90 balance, I think, does work in Curtis Jones' favour. And then, obviously, he's got, like, like 30 more defence and he's got, like, 20 more physicality. But realistically, for half the price, you're paying for someone who doesn't link to Mbappe. That's about it. Like, realistically, Neymar is very good in-game. Five-star, five-star, absolute unit, fantastic card, and an absolute beast. For half the price, and you can get this Curtis Jones card. And I don't think you're looking at a card that should be 400k less than that Neymar. Realistically, if this Curtis Jones is on the market, you're looking at a card that is just as much, if not more, than Neymar. But it's an SPC. Granted, it's untradeable, but that is a very good looking card. And I think a lot of people are saying, oh, it's not that great, it's not that great. I think that left mid card is being slightly overlooked at because I think the left mid card looks very, very good. But now on to, I guess, really, the main question, which is better? I think both cards look fantastic. I think the left mid card is a very viable option. And I think as we saw, you're looking at someone who's very similar to Neymar. The five star, five star for me is the main difference between those two cards. Because I don't think the big, you know, the plus four in dribbling looks like a plus four. It looks maybe like a plus one or so. Uh, the defense and physicality, obviously, of Jones is going to be a bit of a bonus towards that as well. Um, but for me, I'm taking the center mid. I think the center mid looks incredible. I, I, like I said, that left mid card looks fantastic. I think it looks amazing. And I think if you choose the left mid card, fair play to you. I think you've still got yourself an incredible card. However, that center mid card for me for 400k is an absolute steal. Again, just like we said previously about that Jones being like, you know, 800k card or, you know, a mill card. For me, that Jones is Hullet Gang. For me, that Jones is better than Baby Hullet. And if that Baby Hullet is 1.2 million coins, this card is... I don't know what this card would be worth. He, honestly... For me, the, the Camavinga that everyone's been hyping up at 2 mil coins, that's better than Camavinga. That, that is a better card than Camavinga, in my opinion. I just... I think that that card is a no-brainer. I wish if I had the, the luxury of doing both anyway, then fantastic. But... I, I am doing Jones. There's no two ways about it. I am going and completing Jones as soon as I can. I'm getting him done. I'm going to try and use as much fodder in my club as I can. I can do the 86 part of the SBC for about 50k. I think I just have to buy Benzema to do it. Realistically, that 88 rated card is an absolute steal. And I think I'm going to wait for my foot champs rewards next week. Because that's 100-ish k and then a bunch of players and packs and whatever. It's a no-brainer to me. It's absolutely no-brainer. 88 Curtis Jones centre mid is going to be in my club this time next week. I promise you that. But that is going to be the end of this video. As I said, both cards are phenomenal. But for me, the answer to which is better is the 88 centre mid Curtis Jones. If you enjoyed this video, then please do leave a like on the video. It supports me, the video and the channel a whole bunch. Of course, if you're new to the channel, then please do hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on to be told any time that we upload a video or indeed go live in the live stream. For now, guys, I want to say a massive thank you for watching. I've been Tom. You guys have been awesome and I'll see you soon. Look after yourselves and of course, wash your hands in a bit. What?
Nah, nah, his name is Hursty. Slap bald head, yeah, it'll probably hurt me. Bang top bins, yeah, it'll probably hurt you. Ginger, streamer, platform, YouTube. Drop a name in the chat, or say hello. Entertain, yeah, you already know. Capital H, yeah, I'm a read it slow. Hursty Games, yeah, you already know. Hursty Games gonna hurt me.